I used a simple betting strategy to beat the bookies for charity in an upload last week. And now I'm gonna reveal how it works with a full explanation that anybody can understand without holding anything back. There was a flurry of questions about the betting strategy, so the aim of this video is to clearly lay out how and why the strategy works in simplistic terms with an example. Details about placing the bets is covered in the challenge video, so check that one out after this. There are three crucial factors to ensure that this betting strategy works, starting with the first. They ran him off their feet in the Pegasus. Life is good on cloud nine. He won by three. Margin, because you need to forget about form, historical performances, or even which sport that we're betting on, because it's irrelevant. What really matters here is the value margin. Now, there's certain situations that lend itself to more margin, such as the Greyhounds explained in the previous video, but this betting strategy works because it's built on that difference between real world value and the actual price that we're getting. Take a look at this example on the screen here. There's a comparison between the prices for Bet365 and the betting exchange. On the left, you'll see the number one dog called My Little Tip is at a price of three to one, which is 4.0 in decimal odds. And on the exchange, the price is actually shorter at a price of 3.75 to 3.8. Now, like all profitable businesses, the bigger the value margin, the more profit we're able to make. And in fact, the more we should be staking on a particular bet. But there's more on that in a moment when we come to point three. The point I'm highlighting here is there's difference in pricing and the exchanges is the closest we've got to knowing the true value of a particular bet at this point in time. If there's no margin, then there's no bet. It's as simple as that. And this is why I mentioned in the previous video that it's quite laborious sitting around in a betting shop waiting for this to happen as it doesn't happen on every single race and then it's a case of rushing to the counter. So moving swiftly on to the second point that makes this a very profitable strategy, which is making the call because the value margin has has to be in relation to something. Doing this hours before the start of an event is just no good. The market is not that efficient at that point in time and we can't necessarily rely on the betting exchange volumes unless there's an extreme amount of liquidity. In this instance, Greyhound's liquidity arrives late and fast, which is why we're able to find this value margin so often, but it means that also we shouldn't be doing this several minutes before the start. So typically I wanna be inside the last minute before the start because that's when the exchange volumes are most accurate and most reflective to the bet's real world value. Looking at the example on the screen here is inside the last 30 seconds. For the sake of this video, obviously I want to explain this very clearly, but that's why I was running around in the shop and it'd be very hard for me to stream information as some people suggested on the previous video comments. Oh, if I missed it. It's gone, is it? Now, the strategy works using these first two factors alone, but the third element makes a big difference to the bottom line profits overall. Unlike tapping the subscribe button, which is free, so if you're finding this video useful or interesting, please remember to tap it down below. The third element is market signals. So if we go back to that example on the screen here with Betfair Exchange, you can see the historical price movement on the exchange and the traded volumes with this chart here. You can see that the price has dropped significantly and quickly as a result of late support from a price of 4.5 all the way down to a price of 3.4. So not only is this a value selection in comparison to Bet365 in this instance, but there's late money for this. And of the total traded volume on this entire marketplace on the exchange, this particular selection is responsible for about 30% of the traded volumes. So the market is signaling something to us here. Somebody who potentially knows something is putting their money where their mouth is and money is going down on this dog, leaving us a value selection with the bookmakers. Now, the more money goes down and the more disproportionate these traded volumes are, the more likely I am to stake more and the more the value margin is between the two different prices, the more likely I am to stake too. So the key insight from this particular point is not only have we found a value selection, but the market market is signaling towards us and telling us that there is additional support for one reason or another. Now, in my opinion, this happens because Greyhound betting is maybe a little bit bent. If you look at the result for the example, the dog won quite easily. Little tip, first run out in front, never saw anything else. One wins it, turf, oh, might have got up for second there. But it's not necessarily a bad thing when you consider that it allowed me to donate over a thousand pounds to charity in last week's upload here in the end screen. Check it out. Many of you guys said it's our best upload yet. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out.